what's what's the status right now with Trayvon? It sounds like there's been uh, maybe a little bit of a change as to whether or not you anticipate him back there running the football. Is that right? Or? Yeah. Um, with Trayvon right now, I'd say if we can, we'd like to be able to reassure him. Um, there's no question he can help us right now. Yeah. Things are moving a little fast for him uh, right now. I've got no problem putting him in the game, but you know certain things that he does very well, like we've talked about, that other guys do well. Also, and there's only so many touches um, to go around, so I think he'd like to play. And um, he very well may end up playing this year, going into this game. If we can, though, we'd like to hold him and, and try and reassure him if we can. How did Trey look today? I thought he looked pretty good. Um, you know, they've had we practiced. Uh, what we scrimmage Friday? Is that right? Uh, scrimmage Friday gave them Saturday and Sunday. Uh, was just a walkthrough, so we didn't practice. Monday is our day off, so we met all day, and they didn't. We didn't see them at all yesterday. So they've really had uh, Saturday, Sunday, three days off straight, and I think that did wonders for a lot of their uh, legs. I thought he looked good, though. He looked quick and looked fast, and and um, you know he's a motivated guy to get back to where he was, and and uh, I've got no question that, that he will. With his status being kind of iffy, how are those two freshmen? Are they the two true freshmen? Are they ready? Uh, Shy and Marshawn? Yeah, are they ready? They better be because they're playing. So, um, yeah, I think Marshawn, Marshawn, I think they're both ready. Marshawn maybe a little bit more than Shy just because he was here and he went through 15 spring practices. Uh, so he's he's been out there and had more live action than than Shy. But then when you think about it, Marshawn missed most of preseason, so Shy kind of made that up. But Marshawn's a very smart kid. Um, he's very good at what he does, uh, um, very poised, you know, so they'll – They'll both play Saturday. They'll both, you know, carry the football, and then we'll, you know, kind of see uh, see where we are from there. I'm sure the, the I'm sure the, the play call is going to dictate this, but do you have an idea at least of how you want to split those carries between JC and Marshawn and Shy? Or yeah, a little bit in my head, but nothing that we've, you know, solidified at this point. We're still, um, you know, working finalizing game plan and things like that. Things like that. We'll get into. Uh, third down tonight as a staff and red zone tomorrow and tomorrow night late and as we put together packages we'll kind of figure out okay when we get to Thursday here's where we want to be here's how we want to you know split these carries up JC will start and then and then uh, we'll go from there I think about a lot of a lot of that depends on how the game's going you know who who may get hot uh, things like that so we'll see what was it about Marshawn's scrimmage or was it or, or is this the fact that he's sort of immediately going to have a role more just because of what he did in the spring? Um, I think he went through 15 spring practices, so we had a good idea of what he's about in those 15 spring practices. Um, I think it said a lot about him the way that he, I'll be honest with you, when I knew he was going to be out for a few weeks, I would have probably disservice saying this about the kid, I would have bet anything he would have come back about 240. Um, from not, from not, and I, you know, we had a bet, a friendly wager, uh, but on the board about what that I just put his weight up there. You know, what's your weight going to be when you get back? And he worked his tail off while he rehabbed, and I thought that showed a lot about him as far as his maturity go uh, is. And then in the scrimmage on Saturday, um, just from a pass protection standpoint, some things that happened that you you trust him in pass protection, and he looked very natural running the ball. Um, you know, he's got great vision. For a big guy and for a young guy, he sees things uh, and made some nice runs that required good vision. Um, normal, normal like this being a Georgia guy, but he's got a little bit of. I'm not comparing him to No. Sean Marino, but his energy level, as far as I can, I coach at South Carolina. I remember every time No. Sean got tackled, that sucker popped up and it was a sprint back to the huddle. Marshawn kind of brings that energy uh, to the to the running back position. Now, part of that is probably he hadn't practiced in three weeks, so he had fresh legs and all that as well. But he's got a lot of energy on the field that I think our offensive line feeds off that as well, really the whole offense. He's a he's a young guy, but when he's in the huddle, he's he's trying to be a leader.